Hey guys, I'm going to show you how to get multiple wallpapers or like multiple springboard wallpapers for your iPod Touch. What you're gonna, what I mean by multiple springboard wallpapers is watch. When I go to the next page, off slide. When I go to the next page, it changes wallpaper. Changes wallpaper. Changes wallpaper. Yeah, changes wallpaper. That's pretty cool. And I'm gonna show you how to do it. All right. First, you're gonna have to know how to SSH. So let's head over to the computer right now. All right. So we're here over on the computer. And first things first, you're gonna have to SSH to your into your iPod Touch. Don't know how? Look in the description. There's a video on it. I made it. All right. So you're gonna open up your SSH client. I'm on Windows, it's Winscape, it's different for Mac, same thing though. Alright, so log in to it. One second. Alright, so once you're over here, you're gonna wanna go to, you're gonna wanna go back once. Then go all the way down, so yeah, private bar. You want to go down to stash, go into themes dot x x x x x is it can be whatever themes dot whatever. Just click on themes dot whatever. If you they're all different numbers for you. Then, all right. Then we have all our themes here. That's in that's in Winterboard right now. Okay. There's gonna be a link in the description for this. You're gonna want to download this file. It's called mult mult multiple wallpapers.zip alright if you don't know how to use mega upload you just type in the letters right there click download file then select free download and download it it's a very small file so it's not going to take long at all okay so once you're done with that you are going to have this file multiple wallpapers open it up and see multiple wall multiple wallpapers dot theme take it and drag it and drag it on your desktop if you want uh... yeah i already have it there so i had to override it alright so now you have multiple wallpapers dot theme and it has all different files in there alright so now what you're gonna do is if you go into the folder multiple wallpapers you see these are the fo these are the uh... wallpapers i had on my ipod when i was showing you the example it has its own dock if you don't like it you can just delete it but I like it alright so then what you need this is this is your job now what you're gonna do is you can go I got I just got these right off uh, Google images so they're not mine and what I did I just replaced them with this so you, you're just gonna have to replace them and keep the same exact uh, name for the thing each one. It say you have. I only have four pages on my. Uh, five actually. Zero is the home page. One is the first page that I made. So you're gonna. If you have more, you're gonna have to make a new. P you're gonna have to take your picture and drag it in here. I'll show you an example on how to do that. So open up. Go to Google. Go to images. Type in uh, like iPod Touch wallpapers. All right, then select anyone. See this? Is, I have that on there. I'll select. I so I'll select this frog one. Open it up. All right, I'm just gonna save it to my documents, and it's called image uh, four two three. All right, go back into here, I need to open this up. Alright, here's my thing. Image.423. Four three, four three. I'm just gonna drag it into the multiple. And I'm just gonna drag it over there. Alright, there it is, right here. But you need to change the name of it for it to work. It needs to if you select F2, or I just rename it, rename it page. Five. Make sure it's a capital P 
and just spell page five. Got it. All right, and it needs to be a PNG. All right. So once that's done, and if you change the file extension, if you get this, yeah, you need to get this. Are you sure you want to change it? If you don't get that, go like this. Go to Tools, Folder Options, View, go down and do, and you're gonna wanna click on you wanna uncheck hide extensions for known file types. If you uncheck that, you're gonna get that message, okay? So you want it to be page five dot png. That won't show up on mine because I really don't have an extra page, but I'll work it out with you guys. Alright, so I added that. Now go back to uh SSHing and as you can see right here, multiple wallpapers dot theme. Just gonna drag that Hold on. I'm gonna scroll to the bottom. Multiple wallpapers. Click that. Drag it into the free space down at the bottom. Copy. Um, hold on. I think I'm gonna have to reconnect this. Oh no, it's working. All right. So there we go. Right. Where is it? Multiple wallpapers dot theme. All right. Now you're gonna have to head back down to your iPod Touch, and I'll meet you there. All right. So now we're back over to our iPod Touch. You're just gonna wanna open up Winterboard real quick. All right. Open up Winterboard, and if you go down, uh, no, it's right at the top there. Molt wallpapers. Select that. So you have to check now. All right, so uh, go into your thing. All right, now you have it. See, you have all the multiple wallpapers. And yeah, the fifth one I created, I think this will work. If I go like this, create a new page. Yeah, see, I should create a new page with my icon. And there we go, we got that frog that I edited. All right, there you go, guys. Thanks for watching. Edit the images if you want. You can keep it the way I have it. All right. Have a nice day and subscribe. Hope you enjoyed the video. Bye.